Hi, my name is Lee. Welcome to Alpha Web Design. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I want to show you how you can post script tags to your store. And um, script tags are used to load remote JavaScript files to the storefront of your Shopify store. In this video, I will use a completely fresh um, application. If you want to know how you can create a Shopify app with Laravel, and then you can just click either here or here somewhere the link is going to be posted and yeah so let's jump right in okay so here i am at the dashboard of my development store as you can see there are no apps installed as of yet that is because the script tags will be posted by the time um, you install the app to your store and um Let's just take a quick look at the documentation of the script tags. So here you have all of those different endpoints for your script tags. You can, of course, post a script tag, which creates a new one. And uh, there are different methods. Uh, if you want to see all of the script tags, maybe you want to just uh, take a look at a specific sp script tag. If you have the ID or you can count the number that you have installed on your uh, on your store. If you take a look at the script tag object, you will see that every tag has an ID. And of course, every script tag also needs a source because what you want to do is you want to uh, load some remote JavaScript code. And you also have to set that source of that remote JavaScript code, which will usually be um, the directory of your somewhere loaded in inside of your app. But we will get to that later. So for example, if I go to my store, I could go here, type in admin API script tags. And I will see that, of course, I have an empty array of script tags because there are uh, no script tags loaded right now. So let's jump right into the code and see how we can actually do that. So here I am at my VS Code installation. I have already downloaded um, the Laravel package from OCZ and we are ready to go. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go to resources, JavaScript, and uh, we want to create that remote JavaScript file that we want to load into our storefront. So let's just say we want to call it um, script tag just for the sake of this video. And we want to give it a console log and say hi from script tag JS. And at the end of this video, we will see, uh, we, we should see this uh, console log at the storefront of our online store. Now we have to go over to our webpack.mix and add our script tag JS. All right. So now that we have added this to our webpack, if we now run npm run dev, it should be compiled to the public directory. And as we can see now, we have the script tag JS right here. Okay, great. So next we want to go to our configuration file. So we type in, we search for shopify-app.php. Come here and we have to configure a couple of things. First of all, we want to add some uh, API scopes to our app. So we will also need read script tags and write script tags. If we go to the documentation of the Shopify API access scopes and we search in that list for the script tag, then we can see here that we can uh, copy this, paste it in here. And now our app also has the, the rights to read and write script tags. We will have to scroll down or also search for script tags in here. 
and here we can see that we have an array uh, that we that is right now commented out and in that array we can set the script tags that we need so let's delete the comment and um, here we can see that we can set the source for our uh, JavaScript file um, as we can see they hard-coded um, the URL of the app which is a bad idea for our example you should always get the URL or your app URL out of your uh, environment file out of your .env file so we can delete this and um, we want to say env okay I could have shouldn't have deleted the env but okay so uh, let's say env and say app URL and we want to concatenate that with the path to our JavaScript file which will be at js slash script tag dot js okay we're done with the configuration and to further understand what's going on, I want to scroll down and show you this. So um, those script tags that we just configured will be loaded inside of a uh, job queue. So we have multiple job queues, webhooks, which is uh, not necessary right now, and after authenticate, which is also not necessary right now. But among others, script tags will also be loaded inside of a uh, job queue. So by the time you will install your app inside of your Shopify store, there will be uh, Laravel will create a job queue with your script tags, and then uh, that queue will be um, yeah, processed after the installation. So we will now have to configure those uh, that job queue inside Laravel. So. The first thing to configure is that we want to go to the env file and look for queue connection and we want to set it to database so that um, otherwise we would have some performance issues and if we set that queue connection to database that job queue will be processed by the database okay you could also leave it at default but then um, your app would wait until all of the jobs are processed and then it will continue. But if we set it to database, then the app will uh, continue to load and do all of the um, processing of the jobs in the background within the database. But if you um, set this connection to database, you will also have to um, create a new migration file. So you will have to uh, create a job table in your database. And so let's uh, create a, config, uh, a migration file first and say php artisan um, q table. It will say migration created successfully. Let's take a look if that is correct. We can see here database migration. And now we can see here we have a create jobs table, which is correct. So if we take a look at our database, we do not have that jobs table yet because we haven't migrated yet. Uh, PHP artisan migrate. So it migrated our jobs table. We can take a look. And here we have our jobs table. So it worked correctly. The next thing we want to do is say PHP artisan queue. 
listen. So that way we uh, wait for a queue to be created. And the way we create that queue for uh, Laravel to be processed is by installing our app. So let's go back to our Shopify dashboard. Uh, let me go to my partners account because there I have my Shopify apps. Look for my apps. And I will go to my script tag app. I will select a store. Select this development store right here. Oh yeah, th this is also a error that you might see. If you see this error, this usually means that um, if you go back to your database, this error will occur if you have not deleted um, this user from the database. So if you delete this right here, then you will have to do the same process again. Go back to partners. Go to your apps. Script tag, select a store. Now you can say install the app. Here we can see that my app is installed. So if we go back to VS Code now, we can now see um, that the script tag installer was processing and that it now says processed. Okay, so that means that the script tag should now be uh, installed in our Shopify app. So we can now say um, admin and take a look at the API. Here we have the script tag, so that is good. If we now go to the storefront, take a look right here, and go to the console, we can see hi from script tag JS, which is the console log from uh, the script tag that we set right here. And now, of course, we can use all of the JavaScript uh, code that we want. Um, I think that vanilla JavaScript is recommended right here. For example, if you use a library uh, like uh, jQuery that will just blow it up uh, the site too much. And I mean, you can do anything that you can do in jQuery, you can do it in vanilla JavaScript as well. So um, it is recommended to keep things as lightweight as possible for to maintain the uh, user experience of this um, store right here. I mean, you don't want uh, users or you don't want customers to uh, install your app and then the performance of their store will drop down dramatically. But that's just a side note, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. So yeah, but that's basically how you can uh, install script tags or use script tags uh, within your app. And I hope this video was informative and I um, hope you leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye bye.